Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. They taught us this truth and they warned us of the things to come, the things that you see happening now. All right. Who the, who the world ignorantly calls God, his name is Yahweh, which is the Hebrew name for he is or he exists because he does exist and he is. All right. So it's plain and it's beautiful, man. And it's a powerful name. All right. The most powerful name. All right. His son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai. All right. In the Hebrew, meaning he is the savior or he is the deliverer. All right. If you watch this now and you're a so-called black Native American or Latino man and woman, you are a Hebrew Israelite according to the Bible. All right. You will not find so-called black, so-called Native American or um, Latino man or woman in the Bible. All right. You will never find those nations in this Bible and the King James Holy Bible because why? Those are not your real names. All right. You are a Hebrew Israelite. All right. And if you're watching this and you don't look like a so-called black Native American or a Latino man or woman, but you feel like this truth, this, well, you feel like this is the truth. All right. That's because the spirit is telling you that it is the truth. And there's a good chance that you are a Hebrew Israelite. All right. So peace and salutations out there to the hopeful elect out here pushing this truth and sincerity. So the water for what y'all do, we love you. We appreciate y'all through the spirit of y'all. Shalom to y'all. All right. It's your brother Dawa Dodd here from the uh, GMS camp in uh, Springfield. Right now, uh, you know, we're not out there in Springfield. We're, we're actually in Connecticut due to uh, the whole COVID pandemic or uh, C-19 or whatever you want to call it. You know, so... um. Because of that, we're not out there, out there teaching on the highways or the byways of Springfield, but we are in Connecticut on the highways and byways. All right. What this lesson is about is about this word. All right. This word is powerful. All right. This word is beautiful. And this word gets you amped. Now, how is it able to do that? Because it's the truth. And the things in this Bible that are written in this Bible are so beautiful that your spirit has no choice but to rejoice when hearing these words. Unless you're a damn demon. And then and then if that's the case, then your spirit hates to hear these words. Alright? I mean, I'm just gonna open up with the first scripture, because this is very beautiful about these words, man. About, you know, there's a saying that uh the pen is sharper than a sword. Well, that stands so so true when it comes to, to the Holy Bible. All right, if this is any any great example of the pen being sharpened in the sword, it's this. It's the Holy Bible. It's these words. Men have died over this <laughs> these words. Men and women and children have died over these words, man. When you watch the movie The Book of Eli with Denzel Washington, they were after the Holy Bible. All right, they weren't after the Quran. They weren't after uh. The damn, uh, no, nothing written by Buddha. I right, they they were after the Holy Bible, man. This is the reason for that, cause this this word is, well, I'm gonna get the scripture right now. This is Hebrews four and twelve. It says, "For the word of the heavenly Father is quick and powerful, and sharper than than any two edged sword." So the word for the word of God is quick and powerful. So this, these words are powerful, man. And they hit, man. All right. And sharper than any two edged sword. Because this, because this, this, this word, it'll cut you spiritually, man. You know, it'll cut you spiritually. All right. And it'll cut you physically. All right. If you speak these words, men will want to kill you. All right. But we know through the Heavenly Father, you know, through, through, the, through the Son, we, we won't be harmed, all right? Unless the Most High deems it, deems it. you know? Maybe, maybe uh, you know, you're sent out to be a martyr, to die for the name of the Heavenly Father through His Son. Die for this gospel, die for this truth. Men will want to kill you for this damn, uh, for this word, man. 
these damn demons are going to kill you for this word, man. For the word of the Heavenly Father is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Someone think they, they know something, know the truth. And you get the scriptures and show them that they prove them wrong. Yo, they want to fight you, man. It's crazy. But that's how beautiful this, that's how strong this word is, man. It, it breaks down all the lies that's been told throughout the world. And people can't stand that. People, they hate that. You know? That's why they want to do away with the Bible, man. In the movie Book of Eli, when, when he was listening, looking for the Bible, and they said, yo, it's just a book. And he was like, what? It's not just a book. It's not just any book. This book is powerful. He's like, if you have the book, you have the people. And that's the truth. <laughs> it says, for the word of the Heavenly Father is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the divine asunder of soul and spirit and the joints and, and marrow. And the, is a discerner of the thoughts and the tents of the heart. You say something out of this Bible, man. You're, you're, you're fucking around and get the, the true intent of someone's uh, motives. You know? The spirit to just jump out of them to, to reveal themselves, man. To you. And they will through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahshai. Because when you speak this truth, what, what does it, uh, do the scriptures say, man? Um, The truth shall set you free. You know, and that's the truth, man. Let's get another uh, scripture. This is Proverbs chapter 25, verse, verse 11. It says, a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold and pitchers of silver. Now, if you see apples of gold and pitchers of silver... That would be one of the most beautiful sights you've ever seen in your world, in your life, man. Probably the most beautiful sight you've ever seen in your life. Apples of gold and pitchers of silver. Could you imagine seeing that? You'll go nuts, man. You'll go crazy. You'll be like, yo, that's one of the most, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life, man. I need that. That's these words when they're, when they're spoken to you and broken down the right way. To hear that you're not black. Black means filthy. Black means unholy. Black means evil. Black means to mourn. When you go to a funeral, they wear black. So to hear that you're not black, but you're a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah is a word fitly spoken, man. And it's like pictures. It's like apples of gold inside pictures of, 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 of silver. When you hear that you're not a Latino, but you're a Hebrew Israelite. All right, from the tribe of Ephraim, Manasseh, uh, I, um, Asher, Asher, Simeon. When you hear these, when you hear these things, that's be that's a word fitly spoken, man, and that's beautiful. All right, when you when you when you hear that you're not an Indian, which means savage, right? When you hear that you're not a Native American Indian, the, the man that conquered you, when you're not when you're not given his name, but you're actually given the Heavenly Father's name, uh, uh, Yasharallah, which is uh, Hebrew for Israel. He, Prince Power, Yasharallah, Allah, Yasharallah, Yasharallah. You're you're from the you native so called Native Americans are from the. Uh, the tribe is Gad and Reuben, man. That's beautiful. That's a word fitly spoken. When 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 you hear that we are we are about to be given brand new bodies, all right, and our our spirits lifted up out of these old decrepit bodies, old disease, virus induced, chemical induced, GMO induced, fluoride induced, chemtrail induced, decrepit vessels. And we're going to be given angelic bodies and have inherit the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom where men will real men rule and have more than one woman and have hundreds of thousands and maybe millions of babies. <laughs> because we have to we're going to have we're going to be a great nation. So the men have to bring back the, the nations because this place is going to be destroyed and two thirds of the Israelites will be destroyed by nuclear thermal th uh, nuclear thermal um, missiles that is ICBM so that's that's going to happen 
that's a possibility it could happen this year. Abaratza, meaning Father's will. Okay, that's the word fitly spoken, man. You're about to inherit the kingdom of heaven. You're gonna have angelic bodies and superpower. More than one woman. <laughs> that alone, I'm sold. That's a word fitly spoken, man. That's beautiful. Your women are not going to be talking back to you. You're going to shut the hell up, be in her order, or they they are going to be in their order, and they're going to shut the hell up. Your kids are going to listen to you, and you're going to have the other nations as slaves. That's a word fitly spoken, and that's beautiful. That's like apples of gold and pictures of silver. All right. This word is beautiful, man. This word is beautiful. Unless you're a damn demon and this word is very ugly to you. <laughs> All right. But hey, man, this is going to be a short video, short lesson. I brought this out. See you tomorrow. All right. This word is beautiful. I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rachakadash, who gave us this word. This beautiful word, this beautiful knowledge. Peace and salutations to the hopeful for like I am pushing the truth and sincerity. The water food y'all do we love you through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. And double honors to the apostles and elders, the great most on who taught us this truth. When they rule well and 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 they warned us of the things that's coming, the things that you see happening now, the prophecies. All right, such as World War Three. All right, they gave us the names of the Heavenly Father and His Son through the Spirit. They told you so-called black, Native American, Latinos who you were through the spirit. So big shalom to them. And shalom to you.